Welcome to the eClinical Works podcast. I'm Brian Hughes. Today's podcast, we'll be discussing how eClinical Works uses the power of technology to create a single location to accurately search, sort, and act upon patient health information from multiple different healthcare entities. Here with me today to discuss eClinical Works One Patient One Record is Hilo Product Manager for Telemedicine and Connected Devices, Melissa Alexander. Melissa, thank you for joining our podcast today. Thanks for having me, Brian. This is exciting. Thanks. Well, thank you. Now, Melissa, over the last few years in the tech industry, uh, people have heard or seen the term IoT, also known as Internet of Things. Would you be able to broadly summarize the term Internet of Things and why it's such an important term in technology? And then more specifically, uh, how it relates to the healthcare industry? Sure, Brian. So IoT, or the Internet of Things, refers to a network of things or objects that contain sensors and software that are connected to the Internet, so these things can send and receive data. In the healthcare space, one example of this would be patients who are using a wireless blood pressure cuff at home. Uh, in this case, the device or the cuff typically comes with software that talks to the physical device. Then data, or in this case, real-time blood pressure readings, are received by the app from the device. So long before IoT made its way into the home health monitoring space, how do patients track their readings? So let's think back a bit, maybe jotting their readings down on a napkin, maybe some patients kept a special notebook for their readings, but the bigger question would be, did they even track their readings at all? So if we look at the past and compare it to the technology available to patients today, we can see how these new tech, this new technology allows patients to feel more in control of their health. As readings from devices accumulate over time, the patient now has their own set of personal health analytics that they have created themselves. I mean, how great is that, right? Yeah, and it's pretty impressive how, you know, we can all stay connected and how beneficial it is in the healthcare space. And eClinical Works for many years has offered the patient portal, which patients could log in and securely view their medical records online from their providers that use eClinical Works. A few years later, uh, the Hilo app was developed. Uh, could you provide could you provide us a little brief history of the Hilo app and, and why it's such a widely adopted and downloaded healthcare app? Sure. So the Hilo app was first introduced and made available to our all patients having a patient portal account back in January of 2013. So while our patient portal was, was and still is accessed by millions of patients each year, it was imperative to in, uh, introduce the Hilo app, which runs on a smartphone, of course, to support portability. The Hilo app, which well over 10 million patients have downloaded to date, allows patients to access their health records and reach their doctor anywhere, anytime, which is critical for patients. From the Hilo app, patients can communicate instantly with their practice by sending and receiving messages. Patients can also use e-check-in for contactless check-in for office visits, telehealth visits, either using Hilo Televisits or Hello to Hilo, also known as H2H. They can also manage their medications, request refills, and access their medical records. In addition to these features, the Hilo app allows patients to activate many of the 12 health trackers they'd like to use and link a supporting a, a health tracker device to their Hilo app. We're always adding new devices and partners, so the list keeps growing. If a patient prefers to use a non-supported device, such as a weight scale that does not have any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capabilities, they can activate a manual tracker. So in this case, they would turn on the BMI tracker and enter weight uh, in the app each time they use the scale. So now all of their readings are conveniently stored in one app and shared with their provider. So as you can see, uh, Hilo is vendor agnostic in that while we, we do have a wide variety of tracker partners and devices, we also support the bring your own device model through manual trackers. That, and that's great being able to link it or manually track that information where before, like you said, you had to write it down. Right. And 
revisiting that term internet of things uh, how has the helo app catered to this trend within the healthcare industry and how have they been able to do it with so many different companies or different vendors sure so to further expand upon health tracker features in the helo app back in 2013 we started working with various companies offering home health monitoring and wearable devices like fitbits these partners support oauth protocols which approve one application interacting with another on behalf on your behalf uh, without giving away your password so for example, let's say a patient using the Hilo app owns a Withings thermometer. So from the Hilo app, patients can link their Withings account from the temperature tracker or by selecting Withings from our partner list. Once a selection is made, the patient is presented with the Withings login screen, which requests to share the patient's Withings data with Hilo. So this is a one-time authentication process. So once the partner is linked, all previous and future data obtained using the Withings device will be available in the patient app. The entire process to link a partner or a device to the Hilo app is simple and just consists of a few steps. And once the patient has tracker data in their Hilo app, providers and other clinicians can access this data from the Hilo hub. This includes any manual tracker data that we mentioned earlier. And it, it, it sounds fairly easy to do for the for patients to you know link that up through the Hilo app. Now there's a lot of data that's that's coming through and to the provider to be able to see. What are what are some of the benefits for the for, for the provider getting this supplemental patient data within the EHR? So for patients with a chronic condition or comorbidities providing insight to clinicians on what's happening outside of an office setting is critical. If we look at value-based care initiatives and episodic visit billing, providers must engage with patients in ways outside of regular visits. Reviewing patients' Hilo tracker data from the Hilo hub will allow for more flexibility and value in how providers treat and care for their patients. So an example of this may be a patient with CHF who is experiencing shortness of breath or swelling of the legs, and they happen to call the office after hours. The on-call provider may use Hello to Hilo for an ad hoc video call to the patient. During the call, the provider could also be reviewing the Hilo hub to check blood pressure readings from the patient's Amron blood pressure cuff and the patient's weight data recorded by an eye health weight scale. To summarize, we can see the value in patients using these devices and how having this data available in the Hilo hub will help providers diagnose and treat patients, particularly in a scenario where the modality used is an ad hoc virtual visit using hello to hilo or even a scheduled televisit appointment that's incredible being able to see that data while talking to your patient can go a long way and so much so i, be I believe you have a story they could share between a provider and a patient um, where they're able to see this information and really be impacted their health yes absolutely uh, the story that always comes to my mind is about a patient participating in a pilot study for Hilo Trackers. So not long after the launch of Hilo Trackers, we worked with a local practice to conduct a usability study of patients using Hilo Trackers and um, some partner devices. So we observed how they use these devices, the app, and also conducted surveys. Then around midway through the study, one of the patients felt ill, he had heartburn, he was taking Tums and just shrugged it off as heartburn. Uh, the next morning, he was still feeling off and said he was going for a walk, but his wife said, you know, no, no, get the blood pressure cuff and check your pressure. Mm -hmm. So he took his blood pressure reading and it was so high, he checked it a few more times because he was concerned of the device maybe wasn't working, but it was the same every time he took his blood pressure. So at that point, he called his doctor, who then opened the Hilo hub and could see the readings and all of these recent spikes. The provider, of course, instructed the patient to go immediately to the ER, uh, to the ER 
where they discovered he had had a heart attack. So while I learned about when I learned about what happened, I was so sad because I had gotten to know this person through the study. But at the same time, I was very grateful for how this device and, and the Hilo app assisted in saving this patient's life. Well, thank you, Melissa. That was an incredible story. And it really shows, you know, not, not just getting information from, you know, hospitals or other locations, but actually getting it from the patient and making it impactful and helping providers with taking care of their patients. Exactly. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for joining the podcast today. Oh, well, thank you. Again, thanks for having me. This is great. And thank you to the listener. You can find other podcasts like these on iTunes, YouTube, My Daughter Clinical Works, or on our website at eclinicalworks.com. On behalf of the podcast team, thank you for joining today.